All right, guys, I know it's a long, long time, but we are back with ACY Cast, um, your best podcast for the financial markets. You know, we get all the best updates. And um, today, you know, we're going to have Peter here again. Nice to, to have you here, Peter. Thanks for coming. Um, and what we want to discuss is, you know, I was talking to Peter yesterday. Um, the Fed have, you know, maintained the, the 5.5 interest rates, right? Yes. It was kind of widely expected, I would say, from... Yeah, 100% yeah, expected. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah, it was 99.99. Yeah, but, but that 1% is, I uh, think, they will, high, uh, they will reduce the interest rates. Reduce, rate. okay. Yeah. Okay, so there you go. There, there you go. Um, so, you know, widely expected a pause. But I want to have a view, not from, you know, I want you guys to have a view, not only from my side, but from Peter's side as well, that it's, uh, you know, a trader. And... Um, Prepare your 2024 and how these US dollar, how some stocks um, and how other, how the other currencies will perform. Okay, so Peter, let's get started. Um, what do you think? Was that a, um, a smart move from the Fed or do you reckon they should raise or cut interest rates or in your perspective, what do you think they've done? Was it a good option for them? Yeah, um, they just hold the interest rate mm -hmm. to see how the economic data will go further. Mm -hmm. I think that's uh, not, I, I can't say it's a wise move, but it's like everybody, everybody knows it is a correct move. Yeah. It's not wise enough. Yeah. Yeah, because um, because of the inflation data, right? Definitely. So they <clears throat> increased the interest rate to control the inflation and the inflation does go down. Yes. Right? Especially yes. recent, like, uh, one one year, uh -huh. uh, the core inflation rate because they, they can't use the interest rate to control the energy or food price mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. it's a global thing. Mm -hmm. They can only control the uh, the core CPI. Yes. Uh, sorry, they, they should think the core PCE PC, inflation. Yep. Yeah. So the PCE inflation is going down f very fast mm -hmm. and very steady. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a good good sign. Good actually. sign. Good, good sign. Yeah. I I think you know I'm on the same lines as you. I've made a video this morning um, talking about that was of course 100 percent expected. Let's call it 100 percent expected. You know we can't be 100 percent in everything, but this one mm -hmm. I think we were 100 percent expected that the Fed would pause again. Um, but the most important was not the pause, because as I've been saying, it was expected. So it was the comments that he made, that yes. Jerome Paul made yeah. on the FMC press conference. Um, of course, I wasn't awake 6.30 in the morning. No way. <laughs> yeah. I was sleeping. Yeah. Um, so first thing I came to the office, I was, I was watching the press conference. Mm. Um, did you did you watch yes, it? Yes, of okay, course. Cool. At the same time. At the same time. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're watching the same time. <laughs> yeah. uh, because one thing that I, I really liked um, is how he because it was very different. I don't know mm. if it's because it's the last one of the year that he presented the whole things. Not mm. every time he presented PCE, GDP, you know, expectancy yeah. for CPIs on the chart. So I kind of liked the way they've done. All right. Yes. Um, so what do you think? Because for me, it seems a, a bit of a neutral to hawkish tone. He mm. can't be dovish. Otherwise, you know, it would be very, um, I think it would have too much turbulence on the market if he tilts a little bit more dovish speech. So mm. is in your opinion a little bit more hawkish as well? Neutral uh, actually, to I think it is quite dovish. Quite dovish. So uh, there is two parts. The first part is what, what he said yep. and the other part is what the market think he, he is he talking said, about. Okay. So uh, <laughs> I, I clocked, uh, I, I watched her press release uh -huh. and I think the main difference between this pre uh, press release mm -hmm. than the uh, the one one month ago yep. uh, uh, is that it's the first time he is talking about the Federal Reserve is discussing um, the reduced interest rate reduced, the first time. Yep. Never talked it before. That's true. And also he talked about the soft landing. Never so, talked yes, talk before. True. And also he said the Federal Reserve will go back to the double target. So uh, the main target now is in keep the inflation uh, going down, I'm right? Going the other yep. one is to um, keep the full employment. Yeah, labor market. Yeah. Yep. So normally, he will, uh, the federal will have two targets. Yes. But during the interest rate hike um, duration, mm -hmm. um, 
they will more focus on inflation, mm -hmm. not full employment. Yes. But now they have come back to mm -hmm. to target. So I think it's definitely uh, quite hawkish, especially compared to quite dovish. Yeah, dovish. dovish. Yeah, sorry, dovish. So that's the first part. I think he is right. dovish, and the other thing is that the market think he is dovish. Uh, after right. five minutes, the press release start. The USD start to goes down. The gold start to goes up, up. and the stock market uh, at the same time goes up. So it's of course a dovish signal, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. So from that part, th these two reasons, I think, at least the market think it is dovish. Dovish. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I, I do have, you know, I was a little bit more tilted to the hawkish side, but you putting up those. Aspects, I think it's a more neutral to Dovish, to be honest, because yeah. lots of things he didn't mention in the past meetings, he did mention now, right? Mm. And um, one of the things that he made kind of clear is um, we, we not, we not, not that they don't have the need, but he said that we are not looking to raise interest rates further, mm. <clears throat> right? But he, they, um, he made very clear if needed, and if um, the economy goes in a path that they are not expecting, interest rates is still uh, interest rates hikes is still on the table, mm. right? So, but it's still a uh, old thing. He has talking about this several times in the uh, last several meetings. Yep. So I think it's an old thing. Yeah. Old thing. Yeah. It, it is okay. hawkish, of course, yeah, yeah. but it's still an old thing. What's new is that he first talk first time talk about. They are discussing the reduced interest rate. Reduced so interest rate. I think the new information will more influence more the influence. market. More influence, oh, definitely. Yeah. That's that's yeah. Um, so <coughs> for, for my part, I, I think it, it is quite balanced. Both hawkish and dovish, uh, mm. it's balanced. Okay, it's neutral. But for the market, the new re, new information goes to the market. It's kind dovish. kind of dovish. Yeah. I think. Even the the US two years and the ten years, uh, they dropped a yeah, lot. Yeah, dropped a lot. Yeah, and also. Uh, just for one day, the um, at the end of the year, uh, they, uh, from Fed Watch, mm -hmm. they have the expectation how much will they reduce the interest rate, right? Yes, I want to so, talk about that. So yeah. from the Fed Watch, um, it has reduced from four point seven five percent just to four percent. It's a yeah. big move. Yes, it's a super big move. I know. Yeah, and that's quite weird. Yeah, and uh, and. And John Paul say that end of 2024, 4.25%. Um, so yeah. we, we sort of have 0.25, so basically 25 basis point of difference between the market and the Fed. I think it has already go to 75 basis 70, point uh, Sorry, 75 yeah. difference now. Yeah. So it is a lot of it's difference. It's a super difference. Yeah. It, um, it's hard to say that the market is too op optimistic. Yes. But... It does. It does. It does. Yeah. yeah. But remember, every time the market is going against the Fed, yeah. they're kind of wrong. So, I don't mm. know. I have this perspection, this yeah. perception that we will end it up between 4 to 4.25 percent end of 2024. 20, so, next year, December. Yeah. I do think that if we have, you know, at least two or three um, interest rates cut, it may sound very dovish for the US dollar, you yeah. know, a bearish for US dollar. Yeah. And all the currencies like Euro, Pound, especially um, the Pound, I would say, uh, would be going for the levels of 130 or even higher. Yeah. So this discrepancy between the Fed and the market, it's um, something that is triggering me, to be honest. Okay, so um, actually I'm quite struggled there. Uh -huh. Uh, so one part of me, mm -hmm. I, I think it is too op optimistic, too optimistic, especially when you compare to 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 the p uh, point point dot point chart. Yeah, uh, yep. They show the four point seven five percent. Yeah, and they are more uh, r correlated <coughs> for for each other. So, yep. so uh, yes, I, I think definitely it's op too op optimistic. But w when we go back to September, mm -hmm. they also give up. Uh, the 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 point point chart. Yes. At that time, they think the final interest rate will be five point seven five percent from from that chart. Yeah. So it's, it's it means they are wrong, right? Yes. Maybe not. Mm, they are all wrong, 
but they are definitely the quite majority wrong. Are yeah. wrong. Yes. Yeah, majority of them is wrong. So that caused me to think whether the federal is wrong or the market is too optimistic. Too optimistic. Or it's just between. Between. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, I would say it. It is more like in the between. In the between. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, I kind of, you know, on the same lines. I think the Fed will cut next year. Yeah. I think, you know, they will most probably cut next year. I think inflation is heading down, especially the PC prices that you mentioned yeah. about that. Um, I don't think we're going to have any surprises or like, you know, we are at 3.2% year over year inflation in the US right now. I don't mm -hmm. think we're going to have anything above 4% back again. Actually, um, maybe there is some surprise. Really? Yeah, yeah because... Okay, tell me uh, more. So when, when the um, uh, core CPI released this week, yes, people are surprised. A, a little bit, a little bit surprised. Oh, I, I know that the expectation is 4%, yeah. and the real number is 4%. Yes. But I think the market is still surprised. Uh, you can see the USD goes up, the gold price goes down, uh, just yep. a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah, but they are still not be that expected, no, not as lower uh -huh. as they expected. Uh -huh. they, they may expect or hope that it will be 3.9% or 3.8%. Yeah. And the main reason but behind that is because the shelter, shelter, shelter or, or the yep. housing cost, yes. uh, like the rent, mm -hmm. uh, like the home, uh, home equivalent rent, mm -hmm. uh, owner equivalent, owner, yep. equivalent rent, just rebounced. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not not much, but still not like people. Most of people think they will keep going down. Right. And also the other thing, when we not only talk about the core CPI, and, but the CPI, we can see the energy price is the main uh, main item to drag it down. Right. But we 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 know that the OPEC won't let the oil price keep keep going let down. keep yep. going down. Yep. They hope they want the oil price to go up to eighty over eighty. Yep. So. That it, maybe on, it, it, have some surprise. Yeah. But if you ask me, so upside risk, downside risk, downside. mostly downside, but still have upside surprise maybe for, for inflation. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's uh, that's good. But if if so, if we have an upside surprise for inflation, because what the Fed wants right now, and they've made kind of clear this uh, last month or three months ago, something like that. Hmm. Jump of like yeah, we did had inflation coming down, but in the next month we had inflation coming up, right? Yes, and it will crush the optimistic. Yeah, that's you know? that's exactly what he's yeah. saying. We don't want this. We want it steady inflation going down, so then we can see what we do with interest rates. Yeah. So if you are saying basically, you know, that we may have surprises next year, then maybe another hike? No. No, no. not hike. Because they keep that interest rate that way, is because they think there may be some surprise. That's what the market don't believe. Right. So market is over, um, uh, over op optimistic. Yep, yep. And the Federal Reserve is kind of con conversive. Conversive, right? yep. Yeah. So that's the difference. I'm in between, uh -huh. but a little bit um, f close to the Federal. To the Federal. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, we're always tilted to the federal, to be honest. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm sort of the same as you. Um, just the numbers here. We had the CPI of a year for US at 3.1%. Yeah. Um, the core CPI month of a month for US um, became a 03 as the consensus, 0.3. Yeah. And we all, yesterday, we also have the PPI data. PPI, yeah. And yep. the PPI data is also below expectation. Yes, yeah. it came Especially as the transport item is much more below uh -huh. yeah, be, than, than previous months. Okay. So that's a good sign. Okay. That's also it's a good a sign, good sign yeah. that inflation is heading down. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. So awesome. that's the reason why people are optimistic. optimistic. Yes, I think they are, they are worse opti op, 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 optimistic, yes. but just too much. I th yeah. You think it's too much optimistic? A then? little bit too okay. much. All right. yeah. And how this will influence, you know, just um, now, most of our traders um, here at ACY, they, they trade gold and they trade US dollars, you know. How will this affect, how do you think, because we did have a reaction, of course we did have a reaction instantly on the US dollar this morning, right? Yeah. As you just mentioned, gold prices went up, euro dollar went up, yeah. pound dollar went up, USD JPY went down, yeah. uh, you know. Uh, and the Dow Jones has reached has broke highs. through yeah, the yeah, yep, 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 yep. high. You yeah. know what? You know what? Let me tell you guys something. Yeah. I was I was long on Dow Jones this uh, really? start of the week Monday, 
and I closed my position like on Tuesday. Okay. And then I saw today that they hit it um, all time highs. Um, yeah, uh, you know, I'm from Brazil, most of you guys probably know, um, and uh, it's an emerging market, right? Mm. Emerging market, very hard market to navigate. But uh, we are very close to um, historical highs as well on uh, yeah. Ibovespa, that it's the, the Brazilian uh, index. Mm. Very, very happy over there. Anyways, so bringing back, how do you think this will affect gold as well as any other, you know, USD pairs on the forex market. Yeah. That's quite an interesting. You see good opportunities there. There is some difference. Okay. So when I uh, read the market and find the correlation between the interest rate and different kinds of asset classes, mm -hmm. I found that some asset has priced in more optimistic, mm -hmm. and some asset has priced in less. Mm -hmm. So uh, the asset uh, has priced in more. Mm -hmm. will will have more pressure in the future right this include the gold gold okay also the nasdaq nasdaq 100 right. mm -hmm. yeah and the lowest um lowest um la least optimistic is the usd so for uh -huh. me i would say i would keep shorting usd mm -hmm. but i may not long gold or nasdaq for quite a long time, maybe short time, like, uh -huh. like one or two days, I'm, I, I will still okay. keep long it okay. because it's t today and tomorrow there will be m many data comes many out, data, yeah. there may be some opportunities, but for longer term, like one month. several week, uh -huh. one month or further, I would say only USD will still have a short, short chance. Okay. Yeah. okay, so you do believe in a short US dollar? Yeah, but for how long do you think it will? Because I do have a perspective mm. on a short US dollar as well, at the moment. And you know, I was reading some bank researches from um, Goldman Sachs. Let's say, yeah. Um, th let's you know, let's bring it here. Pound dollar, you uh, GBP USD. We had. Um, they're saying that most probably it will hit um, one thirty, one point thirty. And just for comparison, mm. we are at one point twenty two right now. Yeah. So that's 800, 8, 000, 8, well, 800 pips, so mm. uh, 8,000 points. Um, so I do believe on a short US dollar as well. Um, and I'm probably going to be carrying this trade for, you know, end of next year because Fed mm. will cut. So that, that's, that's what I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. Okay, So the Fed will cut interest rates next year. Most probably they will cut three times, mm. most probably. Okay, um, if they cut more than that, that's that's going to be very very dovish. Even better for my my position. But let's say if they cut two to three times, 50, 75 basis points. Um, that's already a big number, but um, you know half of what the market are expecting. Um, I guess you know ECB and boy, let's say Bank of England will continue to hold when the Fed will cut. Yeah. So this will have an imbalance between central banks, mm -hmm. and you know most of um, you know big money will probably go to Europe and UK. I know that the, the scenario there, you know, we had GDP just this week will come 0.3 percent negative for for yeah. UK, but um, it just it just makes sense for me. It's this trade. You know, do you, do you on the same lines or completely different? I, I, I'm just a little bit different okay. uh, for for the ECB. Okay. Uh, it is because I, uh, just let's say the big trend of USD. I I I'm agree with you. Yep. A short USD mm -hmm. till the next year, but I don't think it will be a one sign trend. Uh -huh. It will goes up, goes down, goes up, goes down, and experience several like medium to short term trend yep. here. Mm -hmm. uh, the reason behind that is we had experienced that. Mm -hmm. So before 30th November, uh, the euro dollar uh, versus uh, USD, mm -hmm. uh, euro dollar is going up quite fast. Mm -hmm. But after that, it goes down quite fast. Why is that? Because uh, on, I think it's 13 November, the uh, Europe area has, Euro area has already released its CPI. And the CPI is also below expectation. Yes. yes. So no, I think the CPI uh, is three point two percent, which is very close to US 
US CPI. Mm -hmm. I have I forgot the core CPI, but the oh sorry, the core CPI, core is 3, CPI 3. Can, 1, yeah, which is lower lower than, than US, what the US core US, CPI. Yeah. So, do you think if the trend keeps going that way, do you think ECB will uh, like reduce the interest rate earlier than Federal Reserve? I think so. I think it may could be the case, mm. right? Uh, it is uh, 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 the reason behind that I keep shorting USD because it's too high. Because uh, it used to be uh, people thinking they they want to reduce the interest rate for forever. In, the entire <laughs> yeah. uh, of course not forever, <laughs> but for the entire year next year, yeah. right? But now people's mind is changing. Yeah, they are. They are. Yeah. So I will short USD, but at the same time. People for EC, uh, the expectation for ECP is also changing. Yeah, so these two expectation is keep influence the euro dollar market. Right. So I think the market will be more complicated, especially we have seen uh, the euro area core inflation has crashed. Yes. Like for, I, I think from four point two percent crashed to three point two percent, but but of course uh, it is influenced by the electricity. Uh, and the oil price, the, uh, the net, natural net gas, gas. Yep. yeah, natural all of gas. those, mm -hmm. yeah, they they are correlated, but it does release some uncertainty, yeah, okay. Okay. especially today or tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll we we'll have the PMI have, data. Yep, and, and we have retail sales as well for yeah. for and, for and US. And also, no one will know where it's going on, where where it's going to the PMI. True. So the the US PMI is good. Yes. The PMI is over the composite. Com the com composite. Com com composed. PMI. Composed. Yep. Yeah, PMI is over 50, mm -hmm. and the uh, euro is over, expe uh, mm. over expected, but, but below still below 50. 50. Yep. Yeah, I, I, I yeah. get it. Yep. So that's the reason why uh, during uh, December, the euro dollar is going down for like two weeks. Uh -huh. Yeah, but now it is going up, but <coughs> still have some answer in there. Yeah, exactly. So it's funny you say that because I've I've made a video. I think was when euro dollar, you know, was going down. I was like, this is because the reason of lower CPI than yeah. expected yeah. and PMIs. Yes. That's it. That was the only two reasons. We yes. did had gas, natural gas prices it spiked up, but it came down. Yeah. Um, so I do, you know, on that terms, we are on the same line. I actually. Um, I was just looking at a US dollar index right now. We are uh, we came from 104 um, on this last week, all the way now to 1025. So that's uh, yeah, just within one day. One day, yeah. Right. So this is a Several four hours. hour chart. So eight hours, we've dropped yeah. more than two percent. Yes. So so that's crazy. a crazy move. Yeah. Anyways, um, okay. So. We got the Federal Reserve covered. We got the ECB sort of covered. Now, I want to mention something that I was short is Euro JPY. I want, oh, I, you know, I want to, yeah, I want, I want, I, I won't tell it anything yet, but I want to listen. I want to hear your view on that. What do you think about, about JPY? Because they are long playing it. around long it. Yeah. Yes. So uh, recently I do some <laughs> seminar. And okay. Uh, because uh, it's a ge general um, seminar talking about w what will happen next okay. year. Okay. okay. So okay. for the forex market, uh -huh. I only talk about two things. The first thing is that the USD won't be too weak. It is weak, but won't be too weak. That's the okay. yep. what we are talking yep. about. Yep. Exactly. But if you want to, for me, I, I want to pick a currency to long for for the entire for the year. Entire, like the a only trade? thing is. JPY. JPY. The I do, only thing. I, yeah, I, com I completely yes. agree with you. So I will short USD JPY, I will short Euro JPY, but the most point I want to short is GBP JPY. Because GBP -JPY. I, just, I think uh, G GBP is over overvalued. Yeah. Uh, yes, it, the, the inflation of uh, the UK is still high. Yeah, yeah but it has so, to come down, right? Yeah, the, but the speed of it coming down is the same as the euro, and it is related. The economy is yeah, related, right? It is, yes. So th their their currency, the 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 euro pound, won't change too much. No, it's yeah, always it a won't consolidation. keep going yeah. going down. Mm. It will still in the maybe in the future, like one month or two months, it definitely will goes up. Yeah. So it will reduce the value of GBP. Yep. yep. So I will short GBP 
JPY mm -hmm. for the year. Okay. Yeah. GBP JPY short. All right, there you there you have it, guys. Yeah. Anyways, but my my you know, um, funny you say USD JPY short because MUFG was short as well. Really? Yeah, MUFG is short on USD JPY. Yeah. They got uh, hit on the profit target, so they got TP. Mm. And then now they open up on Euro JPY short. Mm. So that's the same trade as I am in um, short Euro JPY. Mm. I just got at the top there, so it was a very nice trade. Anyways, uh, the main reason is exactly the same uh, expectations that you will have, you know. Um, but what was quite funny with JPY this past two weeks, so last week and last last week, and this mm. week, actually there's three weeks, um, basically the whole December month, is that we've been mentioned, I remember, I've joined ACY in February, and uh, we've mentioned, and you know, every time we see in the, in the, in the corridor, or we go out, or you know, we see each other, um, we've mentioned with, with us, that JPY would be a good long trade. Yeah. We've mentioned this multiple times. Yes. No one believed on us. But, but, <laughs> but it still should there know. There you have it. At, at that time, yes, we are, uh, I think, we, we were off about the long yeah. Japanese year, but yeah. the Japanese year is keep going down. Yes, right. Yes, because the government and the central bank is keeping pressure. Pressure. It down. Yep. But now they has changed their attitude from, I think last week. Last week, yeah. yeah on the Thursday. central bank bank has talked about uh, how to quit the the the, the, the yield policy. control. Yep. Yeah, yield control. Yeah. So the. Also, there is a, uh, a, a, another thing is that as long as the U.S. bond yield goes down, mm -hmm. they have more reason to quit YCC control. Yes. It, it, YCC control is like get a cover on the J, JP uh, like 10-year bond yield, yes. just a cover. Yes. But also, it will be influenced by the U.S. bond yield. So when the U.S. bond yield goes down, the Japanese yield goes down, mm -hmm. they don't need the cover. Mm -hmm. They can quit they the can cover. Take they it can off. Yep, take yep. it off. Yeah. Yep. So that's the reason why I think Japanese yen will keep going down. But still, uh, the Japanese inflation is not that good. The G GDP is not you that good. Not that good, yep. yes. Uh, it may have some influence on there, but we have seen a big, big, big change, big change, big change. In, in the government, especially and also the central especially bank, especially from last week, you know, from yeah. last Thursday. But um, I, I'm, I'm completely on on your same positioning. I, you know, I do believe that we did had this whole a year since February and March. Um, a weak JPY. Mm. Uh, JPO was very weak, you know, was losing for US dollar, was losing for euro, was losing yeah, for because for the everyone. government and the central bank is controlling it. Exactly, yeah. because they knew it. So yes. everyone was like, oh yeah, this is a carry, good carry trade. Yeah. I mean, and they killed a lot of long, long, long positions. Lots, 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 of, lots, lots yeah. of times. And, you know, um, weather always came into the media like October, maybe December, we're gonna, you know, be more firm. And yeah. they did. So they came in last week, and every no one was expecting. Everyone yes. was caught offside, right? Yeah. And because I was talking to a few guys, not institutional people, but um, you know, a few people, and um, they were like, "Yeah, I'm long on USDJPY. This is just a retracement." Mm. Uh, you no. got you got offside there. No. That's uh, that's completely wrong. Mm. Um, so people still believe that JPY is a short but it's turning a little, little bit in a long position. So yes. I'm completely on your side. I do believe that the Bank of Japan, the board will switch the, the yield curve control and yeah. they will take that cap off so then um, JPY but, can, but can raise. The other thing I think, I think maybe should be taken into consideration is that the central, may, central bank may still queue some long position in yes. the future one yes. or two times yes but the long trend has changed yes yeah. yes and and now the uh, mentality of the investor has changed as well yes you know yeah. the fdis the foreign direct investors yeah are now looking to japan oh, you know okay. so so basically what what i'm looking at is see how the us dollar was very weak today yeah most of the money went to japan getting off from US dollars and going to Japanese yen. So I do think that not only me, but you know, big investors are now thinking as well that 
Japan will actually switch the yield curve control, as we are just thinking, as we are just talking. So I think there's a, a good opportunity on Japanese yen. Yes, Japanese yen is good opportunity, but if you consider Japanese stock, I won't think so. No? Yeah, okay. no. Okay. Yeah. Because when, when they like hike the interest rate, mm -hmm. or, uh, the, the economy will goes down, of course. Yeah, that's, yeah. Uh, that's completely true. But yeah. when they do that, damn, it's going to be a and huge the, move. The reason behind most of uh, those investment companies goes to Japan is because they can borrow and invest in moderate return like Definitely. they can uh, like Buffett I mean, it's negative uh, you know, yes yeah. yes uh, like like Buffett uh, he has borrowed three year five year ten year like 20 year yep. and the average of it the interest rate I think is 0.25 percent and he invests in those la large companies, companies which yeah. have five percent <coughs> dividend mm -hmm. it's like like win for free yeah right yes but if they like change the YCC and the interest rate goes up, the profit margin will will keep keep short. Keep short. Yeah. Okay. So, cool. so in long term, I, I I wouldn't think the Japanese stock market will go up. Goes up. Especially when the JP JPY goes up, uh, the stock market will have some pressure. So, in my opinion, and I guess on your opinion as well, the best way to get exposure to Japan would be long JPY. Long JPY. Yeah, and not yeah. on stocks or nothing like that. Not on stock. No. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Also cool. not not on bond. Not on bond. Yeah. Bond is very uh, very sensitive bonds over there. Mm. Anyways, so we've covered Bank of Japan now, ECB, Boy, Fed. What are your expectations for next year, 2024? You know, um, mm. we've talked a little bit about everything here. But what are your what's on your watch list? You know, you can okay. you, you stocks or maybe commodities or forex or ETFs, anything that you think that would be a good way to invest in twenty twenty four. Yeah. Recently, I'm thinking about a strategy. Okay. The strategy come um, like consist of two assets, which is include the oil and yep. uh, SP five hundred. Okay. Maybe if if SP five hundred or Nasdaq, I haven't uh, think through it, uh -huh. but um, I'm thinking about this, yep. these two pair. Uh, the reason behind that, I have, which I have mentioned before, is some of the asset pressing too much, mm -hmm. some of the asset pressing too little. Mm -hmm. The main difference is between the, the oil price and uh, the stock market. So right. the oil price is going quite fast and the stock market is going quite, quite fast up. Mm -hmm. And th that's very weird. So people think there will be a hard landing is keep shorting the oil price and other people think that there will be a soft landing they they are keep longing the the, the SMP yeah. yeah there must be a someone is wrong right yes so i want to short sp500 and long the the, go, the, oil. the oil price All yeah right. especially i also think the uh, uh, opac yep. will finally uh, like getting together mm -hmm. to keep the uh, oil price uh, high. High, yeah. yeah. Over and 80, 80, 80. Exactly what yeah. we're just talking about. Know? Like it's not oil won't go for negative again. It won't yeah. let this happen. It yes. was different. It was different time, it's you know. Different. Yeah. Uh, a completely different time. But right now, remember that oil prices are controlled. It can, well, it's not controlled, but can be controlled by OPEC. Yes. You know, yeah. oh, we're going to reduce how much we're going to do. That's it. Boom. Oil prices go up. Yeah, the reason why it, it it is not going up is because there is some different opinion in, inside uh, OPEC. Okay. So they think they are not together. They they are, they, they are fighting like, with each yeah, other. Yeah, yep. Yes, that, they're not working that as a is. team. But when the price <coughs> keep going down, it influences their profit. They will finally getting together to fight back. Yeah. Okay. Well, there you have it. Cool. So S and P and oil. That would yeah, be maybe automated. Nasdaq and oil. Nasdaq. I, I will see how AI goes. AI, yeah. yeah, okay. Any stocks you're looking for? Any stocks? Uh, like recently, I want to buy some oil stock, but I, I don't think now is the best time. You could use stocks to hedge this strategy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah you can. Yeah. You can. Okay. Uh, but but if you buy only one, uh, like oil oil company, yeah. there will be some. 
unsystematic uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. risk there. Okay. So I want to have systematic like a uh, hedge. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Don't want to exposure to to, to the everything. single risk. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So no stocks for twenty twenty four. Actually, I'm keep looking for the the lithium stocks okay. because the lithium price has recently start rising, mm -hmm. but not very very steady. It, it's mm -hmm. like rise one day, lose one day. Uh -huh. Still, I, I think maybe it can get its bottom, but I'm keep an eye on it. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Any any recommendations you want to give to everything? I think we we've covered everything right mm. now. With you know from US to Japan. Europe, um, yeah. actually Australia. Just you know, w w just a little take here on Australia. Do you think Australia is heading down inflation? Uh, because we did have a pause again on RBA last yeah. time. Yeah. You know, w what's your take? You know, we're just talking about before um, before the cameras about Australian dollar being lots of correlation. Peter found that that Australian dollar is a lot of correlation with. Um, Chinese, Chinese stock market. stocks, yeah, yeah. T especially t during the Asia uh, Asia trading period. Yeah, yeah, they have a strong relationship, mm -hmm. especially after uh, for Sydney time. Mm -hmm. It's it's twelve twelve thirty mm -hmm. at that time when the Chinese stock market is going up, the AUD goes up uh, at the same time. It is because. AUD is very sensitive to export, especially right. iron ore export. Uh -huh. And iron ore export is related to the Chinese property market. Yep. And the Chinese stock market is related to the property market. Property market yep. So uh, that's what we, I, we observed. Mm -hmm. Yes, the, there's, there is some correlation there. But still, um, the main driver behind AUD is still USD, not, USD. not other. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So, right. So, just talking about the central bank now, do you guess, um, because in my opinion, I've been to Osbys as well, yeah. and I've called it, it's done for RBA. Um, I don't think they will raise another 25. It's different, I think. It's it? quite different from okay. Euro, quite different from US. It is because when we um, like see the items in Australian CPI, monthly CPI, we can see that the housing price is still goes up. Mm -hmm. It's not like the the UK a uh, US go go yep. goes goes like sideways. Uh, it is keep going high. It is because Australia this year, especially this year, mm -hmm. has comes in a lot of immigration. Right. So the property rise uh, po property growth Perfect. is two point five percent, and eighty percent of it is immigration. Mm. That pushed the house price further up. That pushed the rent price further up, which is quite different from US, from Euro. Right. Yes, okay, that's that, the difference, that's, that's... I think. But but still, it is has already known by the market. Mm -hmm. So the market compared to uh, like the federal will um, like reduce 150 basis point. For Australia, it will only reduce 25 basis point in the next, next year. year end. Okay. So it, I, I think there is, it, it does make sense. Hmm. But for this rent increase speed, I would say there may be some upside risk on the interest rate. Okay. Still, so it's still. a little bit inflated. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. There you go, guys. Um, hopefully, we could help you all. Um, probably there was like what thirty minutes, thirty-five minutes around yeah. that. So uh, it was pretty good. Um, really nice to have Peter here again. Um, please share this video, share this podcast if you're hearing on the go uh, with your friends that you know wants to know what's happening as on the global aspects as well commodities, um, stocks and um, bonds. We've covered it all. You name it, we do. We do. You know, we 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 go um, and and try to do the best content for you guys. So again, subscribe to our channel, share this video, and um, see you in the next video. You wanna say anything? See you. See you guys. <laughs>